There's a hit. Got it. That could be a better fish right there. Oh my god. That's a that's a that's a 20 inch fish right there. Oh my god. Hell yeah, dude. Kicking off Smalley Games right. Check it out, guys. I'm here with the fly boys, the Vons, the crazy little wet boys out there on that little on that little river rat USA raft out there. Second time out in the new hobes. Let's get out on the water. Off to the races. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh yeah. <sighs> Should have put the pedals in, but I think it's really shallow up here. And I don't think that I would be able to get, I would be able to pedal up here. So I'm gonna try paddling first. I didn't wear waders today and I'm hoping that's not a mistake, but I feel like it could be. Water's pretty cold. I was gonna start with a swim jig today, but I think I'm gonna put a swim, uh, a spinner bait on. So while they're fishing that, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This was a last minute decision. We were gonna go somewhere else today. We were gonna go to Sugar Creek. They called an audible due to the weather. We had really bad weather last night, really bad storms. And it's about 12 degrees cooler where we were gonna go so we decided to come here so we could have some warmer weather all right guys i am in a pretty deep area right now i'm gonna quietly lower this anchor down there we're down tighten her up a little bit i'm gonna throw the ned rig out here for a minute work this little deep area got a nice heavy head on here that's what she said any kind of deep area like this especially if i'm new to this place to a, to a river like this i'm gonna i'm gonna pick it apart pretty good amount of current through here not very much cover and i really thought for sure this whole area is such a deep hole You've got this push water, this, this island, which can it kind of act as a protector when this water gets high. This would be a good a good wintering hole for these fish. I really expected there to be, to, to be a, at least one fish in here and I have come up short so far. I really wish I knew if this was predominantly a bait fish creek or river or crawfish river. And I just don't know. I'm thinking about giving Chris a call and asking him. Hey, what's up, buddy? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah? I mean, is this predominantly a bait fish or a crawfish river? Uh, I mean, there are a lot of crawfish here. Are there? Okay. Yeah. All righty. I mean, we fish, we fish bait fish all the time and do well. Okay. Well, so it just really just depends. Yeah. I mean, but there are a lot of crawfish. Right and I can't believe this deep hole up here right before that island just didn't, I just nothing. I'm surprised. Yeah. We're fishing a pretty good spot down here. Nothing. Mm. So. All right. Well, yeah. I'll see you down Hopefully there. It turns on. Yep. Nice right, yep. Yep. So that answers that question. I guess we'll just throw everything with the kitchen sink and see what happens. Now this, man, this looks good, dude. Ooh, it's deep here. Let's slow, low, slow roll this uh, spinner bait. I mean, gotta keep in mind that it's still very cold, you know? So I'm wondering if I should have left the damn swim jig on. Thinking about putting that bad boy back on. I've got a swim jig tied on, just a green pumpkin color. Let's see if this gives it, let's see if this works. Let's get up here in this little pocket up here. That felt like a fish. Ooh, that felt like a fish. I don't know what that was, but if it was a stick, it bumped it like it was a fish. That was a fish. That was a, definitely a fish. There's a fish. Oh my God. God damn it, dude. Got my freaking swim bait trailer. Damn it. All right, so I got word that Jeremiah caught one on a fluke style bait, and it was in kind of middle of the current, middle of the river current. In case you guys were wondering if you're like me and have waited forever to get a uh, anchor wizard, I was wondering if you can lower those down like slowly so that they don't just smash into the bottom. And the vast majority of people I talked to said that you can't, but you actually can. You can kind of flutter. There's like a, it's like a, a clutch system. You can kind of flutter it so that it, it just really slowly just lowers to the ground rather than just letting it just straight up drop with all of its weight, which is really nice because that's the one thing that I was worried about because that's what I liked about just using my hand was the fact that I could just lower it as, as slow as I wanted to. So you can do that if you want to with the anchor wizard and I'm not tearing my hands up with just the rope between my fingers, which is very nice. Okay, guys, that's twice in a row that I've missed a fish. It was on the swim jig. That was definitely a fish though, for sure. No, no questions. Hard pull. See if the Ned Rig can, the follow-up cast with the Ned Rig can do anything. I believe in you, tiny Ned Rig. Work your tiny magic. There we go, there we go, yes. Fish on, baby. Little guy. That's why he was missing that big old swim jig. Ha! Fish on, baby. Skunk is out of the boat. First smallmouth of the Hobie. First smallmouth, gosh, 2022. Dink City. All right, let's let him go. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if there's another one over there. Maybe there's a bigger one. You know? Okay, so I was kind of swimming this Ned Rig. I wasn't really necessarily letting it touch the bottom when I caught that fish. I was kind of hopping it over these rocks, hopping it off the bottom. There one, there's one. Bigger fish, maybe. Yeah, a little bit bigger. Yes. Okay. All right, we've 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 figured something out here. Second fish of the hobes. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's do it again. I am not leaving fish. It's no wonder they were missing that big old swim jig though. Just little bitty guy. Ooh, that was a hit. That was definitely a hit. Look at this current we're in right now. Those were some solid hits, dude. There's one. Solid hits, dude. Solid hits. Solid bites. Yes. Same size. Little cookie cutter smallies, but uh, what are you going to do? Nah, about 14 inches probably. Right on. That was even smaller right there. Let's see. I'm just going to keep on casting over there because there could be a big one over there. I mean... I am swimming this Ned rig in the swift, swift water. Actually, there's kind of a slack little eddy over there, and that's where they're at. There's one. Ooh, that's a better one. Yep. Look, nope, about the same. God, they feel so much bigger in this current. Oh, there goes my rod. Burton shenanigans, baby. Got it loose, little guy. All right, just missed a fish, guys. Over here in this little slack, in my slack eddy here. I'll tell you what would be great is to get on the board for Smalley games, guys. All right, what the hell is going on here with the wind? Holy crap. All right, I need to reposition. Oh man, I love this freaking anchor wizard. Okay guys, so that big uh, sycamore tree sticking up out of the, over the uh, river there. I pulled probably two or three Smalley's out of there and then a pretty decent little large head out from underneath it and then I just hooked into a little long ear sunfish belly hooked him must have swiped at my Ned rig or something but uh, I don't know this is a pretty decent little kind of slack water bank right here I'm just kind of casting at it with the Ned rig and that's what my most of my bites have been coming on is just swimming the Ned rig that's what seems to be working for me so I'm gonna stick with that for now I'll throw the spinner bait here and there when I can but uh, whatever's working's working so I'm not gonna deviate from that too much so starting to get the hang of this reverse thing kicking her into forward and reverse I'm definitely getting faster at it so that's a plus. Yeah, there's just a sweet spot. You can feel them rotate right around. I don't know where those dudes are at. I just talked to them a little bit ago and... <clears throat> oh, there's a hit. Got it. That could be a better fish right there. Yep, that's a better fish. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yep, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Don't lose this fish. Do not lose this fish. This is a good fish. This is a good, oh my God, that's a, that's a, that's a 20 inch fish right there. Get him net, oh my God, oh my God. That's a 20 inch fish. <sighs> Wee boys. That's a 20 inch freaking fish. Look at that fish. There, it's stuck in there, good. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not even gonna F with that right now. I'm gonna stick that boy in the net. Give him some water. Get myself in order here. Get my stuff out of the way. Hey, doggy. Derek? Yeah, you can hear me? Yeah, what's up? I just caught a tank, bro. No, really? Yes, sir. All right, how big? Oh, dude, I'm about to measure it right now. Oh, shit. I'll call you back, dude. I'll call you back. Oh, no, stay on the line, stay on the line. All right, I got to measure it and take pictures, too, but I'll do that in here in a minute. 19 and a half. All right, I'm gonna get a picture. I'll get off here with you guys. What kind of pattern? Uh, Ned rig, dude. Ned rig. Deadly, Ned deadly. Rig. All right, All sounds right. good, buddy. Yep, late. Let's give her a drink. Don't you dare. Look at her trying to jump out of the net. All right, guys. Gotta get this fish to calm down. Settle down. <sighs> Got it. Got the picks. Dang it, guys. I didn't get the release on that fish, but she went 19 and a half, I think. Hell yeah, dude. Kicking off Smalley Games right. I'm still freaking, my heart's still racing from that fish. I didn't think it was that big at first. I knew it was a little bit bigger, but that bank over there looks somewhat decent. About the same looking kind of muddy bank. Some roots and stuff, but I'm not going to leave the spot. I mean, this whole bank is pretty deep. Right now, it's just about repeatability. Just repeat what you're doing to catch fish. If it's working, it's working. Ooh, this bank looks so good. Giant boulders. Nice little eddy right here. You better believe it. I'm gonna give the uh, give the old uh, spinner bait a try real quick, and then head on down river, I guess. Man, I have no idea where those dudes are at. They are just booking it through here, man. This all looks like good water. They were saying it's not very good through here, but I don't concur with that, honestly. I think this all looks pretty decent. Swimming the Ned rig right here. I had a couple hits. Missed him two or three times, and then uh, finally got this guy. It was the same fish. Could have been. Decent little fish. Not, not measurable, but hey. Get our Ned rig fixed and swim it back over there. I've been, I'm working this thing pretty fast. Like, I'm starting to realize that they're wanting it pretty, pretty aggressively. 
sorry about that guys had to do a quick battery change and cast over this log too that's always a necessity that you want to do at least 10 to 20 times a day when you're out fishing honestly it just keeps your it just keeps your blood pumping you know keeps you on your toes guys i had no idea that we were on a time constraint here uh, i'm paddling it out to catch up to the dudes so that uh, jeremiah's got some obligations i had no idea or i would have definitely <laughs> tried to fish a little faster um but it is what it is man i've passed so much good water but i guess that's what i get for fishing slow and not knowing if there was a time constraint that that was a fish just missed a big fish yep missed him again another fish there we go there we go. Yep. Not big. Ah, uh, come on. Dang it. Oh. Here's two off of this bank so far. About the same size, but this big riprap bank right here. I've just been casting, letting my Ned rig fall. There's another tree cast. Oh yeah. Oh, I had that one Indiana Jones. I still haven't caught up to these. I don't know what the hell. I think they've got an outboard outboard engine on this thing and they just not telling me about it. I don't know what, how this is possible. But uh, I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys and let you know what's going on. Caught a freaking 19 and a half today, guys. Come on now. Smash the like button for that at least. Boy, this whole bank just looks incredible. Logs in the water, big old freaking riprap boulders and concrete chunks. And I will definitely be back to this freaking river. I can't believe it's taken me this long to come here. Oh yeah, ooh, that was a bizite. That was definitely a bizite. See if he'll come out of here again. Yep, missed him. Oh no, he's on. Somehow, somehow I got that fish. Little guy, that's all right though. Gave him a nose piercing. Man, that Ned rig has been killing it today, dude. As much as boring as it can be, there is no doubt that the Ned rig is a killer little bait for sure you demon when you got freaking two buff dudes behind the wheel found them guys we we, we thought we were going to be lost man we thought several times that we had ended up in narnia what you think it's incredible incredible it's river. my favorite that's my favorite stretch of this river so yep. although the one above it is pretty good too i think this might be my new one of my new favorite spots man you catch any more big ones probably maybe a 16 the biggest second biggest how long had you guys been there waiting I feel like an asshole. Uh, yeah, that was like 15 minutes. Okay. Well, guys, that was a pretty decent day of fishing. Got a 19 and a half. Well, 19 and a quarter, I think it was. Swimming the Ned Rig, man. Casting it out towards the bank, towards deeper, you know, pocket, letting it sink to the bottom, and then just slowly ticking it along the bottom. And that was, that was the ticket all day today. Finally figured out that pattern and stayed with it. That's what caught me all my fish. Uh, I didn't film every single fish, of course, but I'd say I probably caught... I don't know, 30, I'm being conservative. But yeah, thanks for dropping in. Hope you guys like that video and we will see you on the next one.